Good morning all. This is Swapna. Welcome to Machine Learning Video. Today's our topic is Map Hypothesis and Consistent Learners. Map Hypothesis means maximum a posterior hypothesis and consistent learners. So every consistent learner outputs a maximum a posterior hypothesis only. To get that one, assumptions are here considering prior probability distribution over the every hypothesis is equal and also assuming that one whatever the training data is available that is deterministic and noise free and if hypothesis is consistent with the training data then we can get p of d by h is equal to 1 otherwise is 0. So these are the assumptions we are consider, consider, considering to consider that consistent every consistent learner outputs a maximum a posterior hypothesis. So here to understand this we already studied about the find this algorithm. By using the find this algorithm generally we will get the maximum specific hypothesis from the version space and it outputs a hypothesis which we can consider as the maximum a posterior hypothesis whenever these assumptions are there and if it is any prior output distribution is more specific hypothesis then we can say through the find this algorithm whatever the maximally specific hypothesis we are getting from the version space is just like the maximum a posterior hypothesis how we can write that one means throughout the h H is the complete hypothesis space. Within that probability distribution, if we are considering that two hypotheses are there, H1 and H2. If P of H1 is greater than or equals to P of H2, then H1 we can call as a more specific hypothesis which will find through the find this algorithm. And that are only we can consider as a maximum posterior hypothesis with the same distribution and same assumptions where uh, what is the assumption p by d by h is this hypothesis whatever the h1 hypothesis is consistent over the d then we can it is uh, giving the value of p of d by h is called 1 and here next one is the probabilities reasoning system it is generally used to characterize the assumptions implicit in a learning algorithms probability reasoning system is used to characterize the assumptions implicit in learning algorithms. So here whatever the assumptions we are taking to implicit in the learning algorithms to get that whatever the find this algorithm is output uh, outputs a specific hypothesis that we can call as a maximum a posterior hypothesis. So assumptions here are the prior probabilities over the h given by the distribution p of h and the strength of the data in rejecting or accepting a hypothesis is given by P of D by H. Prior probability is given is represented with the P of H and the strength of the data rejecting or accepting is given by the P of D by H. If H is consistent then we can call it as a accepting and value is 1. Otherwise it is 0. So a probability reasoning system based on Bayes theorem will expect the input output behavior equivalent to the these algorithms. That is P of D by H it can take the values of zeros and 1. By this I am concluding this video. We will meet in the next video. Thank you.